and welcome to a tutorial. This video is going to be a tutorial on pointillism with Copics. Um, pointillism, if you don't know, is a popular style used by many fine artists and it's used in many, many, many famous paintings. And I'm going to show you how to do it with Copics. Um, I'm going to start out by drawing um, just a, just got this pencil and it already doesn't work. Fabulous. Um, if you guys don't know, wherever you live, here we have these kind of like fancy pencils and um, basically they're really expensive and three come in one pack and I've already run out of lead. That's great. I just, just have to stick with my traditional pencil. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we'll put um, just a random drawing. Let's do an apple. Don't expect this to be a good apple. I'm just trying to teach you guys the pointillism here. Alright, this is already terrible. Let's go to the next page. Um, this is a new sketchbook, by the way. I'm, this is in um, one of my carry-around sketchbooks. This is sort of my um, alternative sketchbook. The pages are really light, but they're also thick. It's weird. So I'm just going to do a, an apple, if I can get it right this time. And, by the way, you guys, um, two things. My contest, by the way, ends this weekend. And second of all, my, um, my, not my, um, thank you guys so much for 300 subs. It means so much. I hope you liked my little speed draw video. And there'll be more of those coming, um, regardless of what landmark I am at. So, yeah, I've got my apple here. And now I'm going to pick some Copics for it. start. Um, just pick some reds and some yellows and browns, and what we're going to start off with is super simple. It's going to be the stem of the apple. Who wants to focus? There we go. What I'm going to do first is take my browns, and I've got two here. I'll pick the dark one and the light one, and one more time, there's only two. I'm going to take a third, actually, so. They don't need to be good blending colors, by the way. These can be any colors. I've got E27, E47, and E79. So basically, I'll start with my darkest color and put in where I want the shadows to go. So I'm going to put some shadowing. And I'm using my brush nib to do the dots, by the way. I'm not staying completely in the lines. I'm sort of just doing whatever here. So that's where I want my shadows to go. My next darkest color. I'm going to go all in this color. It doesn't matter if I overlap on dots or whatever. I'm just going to go all up in its grill. I am getting up in its grill. Um, what am I saying? I'm just going to do some dots here. And then I'm going to take my lightest color and go all the way through the other two colors I put down. But this time, go up and fill in the whole thing. And there's the stem. That looks pretty swanky. Now I'm just going to go erase my pencil. Now let's take our um, yellow colors, because they're the lightest. And what I'm going for here is a multicolored apple, so it's got some yellowish patches on it. Um, I picked some yellows and oranges, and we'll go with our lightest yellow, which is lemon yellow, Y13. And I'm just going to begin spots of all sizes, doesn't even really matter. Going with the curve of the apple, I'm just sort of making a yellowish streak here, sort of going about the outline first before I do anything else. Then let's do some yellow along here. So yeah, that's where my yellow is going to go. Now I just got to go fill it in and because this time we're starting basically my rule of thumb with Copic pointillism is that um I like to start with dark colors when I'm working with all dark colors and I like to start with light colors when I'm working with all light colors so if I was working with a group of dark blues I'd start with my darkest color but if I was working with a group of light blues I'd start with my lightest blue if that makes sense um I really hope you guys are liking this style video I mean like um I did Copics on canvas, pointillism with Copics. Um, I try and like um, get some really 
bizarre sort of unheard of styles to use Copics and make them my own. So yeah, this is actually a technique. As far as I know, I invented it. Um, I doubt that I'm the first person to do it because it's not that insane and new. Um, like, like with the Copics on canvas, as far as I know, I'm the first person I've ever seen anywhere on YouTube included um, do that. If I'm wrong, please correct me. And also, please tell me um, who does these videos because I'd love to see their channel. Um, check them out. But yeah. The next giveaway, guys, is going to be a little lofty, and depending on how quickly we get there, I might change it. Um, it is going to be at 1,000, and I know that's pretty lofty. I mean, I'm 700 away. Um, it's not like there's not going to be anything until then. Like, at 500, there'll be a little something. Um, like, maybe at 500, I could do a... Uh, Skype call with the winner of a contest. We could just like talk about stuff. I could give them advice on their channel, stuff like that. Yeah, and then there's the yellow bit of the apple. Um, now I'm gonna take my next darkest yellow, which is Y17, and I'm gonna go where I want it shaded. So let's start at the top here. I'm gonna go in this area too, and then just keep on. Dotting, dotting, dotting. The pencil lines don't really matter that much now. Um, so yeah. And with the darker colors, I'm gonna start going slightly over the yellow's border. Um, since this one isn't my darkest yellow, I'm gonna go quite far with it. Remember the shadows on this side, so I'm gonna be doing it quite heavily over here. an interesting little noise it makes that um by the way you guys um I figured I would just give you a little update I have 25 drawings entered in my giveaway as of right now and it might make you happier to know that I will not be judging them myself um, because, as you know, I do have some nice friendships with some of the people who have entered, and I didn't want that to affect the winner. Um, so if the winner is any of the people that I am good friends with, like pen to paper, or, um, some other people that I know pretty well, um, I just want you guys to know that it was picked by ten judges, my friends, some of my, um, just some of my art-savvy friends and stuff who are going to be judging the Masta pieces. So yeah, I will not be judging them personally. Because that would be unfair. So I got my second color in. This is looking pretty snazzy. This is actually only the fourth picture I've done with this style, so it's turning out pretty good. Next darkest, Y15, pumpkin yellow. Remember, we're going all over the previous area. But since we, start, we started with our lightest, we're not going to go as deep as we did with this um, previous color. And by the way, I'm sorry if my hair ever dips down into the frame. Just sort of um, ducking my head down and my hair gets in the frame a little bit. So yeah. Gonna get some up on this side now. Uh oh, out of focus. No idea how long it was out of focus, but um, sorry. <laughs> there we go. And finally, our darkest color. Y R sixty eight, which is just called simply orange. Yeah. 
So that's our yellowish colors done, and now we're on to our reds. I'm going to start with my, um, I guess I'll start with my darkest red this time. Actually, no, that's a lie. I'm going to be starting with my lightest brown to do some shading. Start with E27, and I'm going to just shade all along the top of here. in here to give the apple a little dip. There we go. So since it's red, I started with brown because red and brown share a lot of similarities in color. I have no idea what my hand was rest resting on, but I got this little like... Alright, so next we're going to take our red that we've done our brown shading. We're going to try and get all up in that brown. Maybe even a little bit in that orange. Now we're going to go a little bit out of it that we've got in there, so we're just going to fade it out a little. I have no idea how this will turn out because this is my first apple, so... Just wanted to pick something simple that you guys could follow easily. There you go. Our next darkest color is going to be R46 Strong Red. I have to say, chows are a lot easier for this technique. Oh, that's too big of a jump. I'm going to grab... Um, how about R39? That should do it. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, chows are a lot easier for this technique because it's more circular and just generally easier to hold for this. To do these really repetitive dots. Now I have to make sure to fade this into the orange properly so it doesn't look weird. Dots don't have to be perfect, they can be any type of dots. I just realized I haven't been talking. I'm getting so absorbed in this. It's really a methodical process. It's getting me all zoned out. I hope I wasn't not talking for too long. This video segment's only been t about two minutes, so it can't be that long. And something that I am also going to be including is a little shiny, and that's going to be this area. Um, so I'm just going to go up here, get some of that. Now comes the boring part, um, doing all of this middle bit. Whew, I wish I'd made this app a little smaller. It's going to take a while. I probably won't cut to a fast-forwarded version, though. By a while, I only mean like two or three minutes. Actually, I will cut to a fast-forwarded version, so, yep. See you guys afterwards. Hey guys, so I'm going to be voicing over this. Oh, look at my hand go. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing a bunch of spots with R29 now. I believe. It's hard to see. Yeah, R29. Um, and um, I'll be switching to R24 pretty soon, I believe. 
Um, not much to talk about. I mean, my hand's moving like a crazy person. Here's R24. Just gonna go and fill this in. I didn't blend it out as much as I would have liked to, but you guys get the gist. You get you get the general idea of this technique. Um, so yeah, I guess there's not really all that much to talk about. Hmm. So my vlogs are going pretty good. They're pretty fun to make, so that's cool. Um, Frozen is out. It came out yesterday. I am so happy about that. Um, what else is there in my life? <laughs> Not much. Um, we got Frozen. Huh. Well, this segment's almost over anyway, guys, so... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed my hand moving like a crazy person. Three, two, one... Catch a real time! Hey guys, I'm back. Um, it turned out pretty good. I would have, probably if I had more time, I would have blended these two out more, blended these two out more, and blended the yellow and the red out a little bit more, but otherwise I think it turned out pretty good. So, that was a pretty cool tutorial if I do say so myself. Um... That's it for now, guys. Ciao for now.